Good morning, everybody. I hope that uh, this Saturday morning you've gotten up on the right side of the bed. I hope that you got up with Jesus, and I hope that you said good morning, uh, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I hope that this day is going to be the best day that you've ever had in your life. I hope blessings come your way. I hope favor comes your way. The favor of God comes your way. I hope the mercy and the grace of God just showers all over you this, this day, this wonderful and beautiful day of life. Uh, this morning, I'm going to be reading a little bit on John 3, 16, John 3, uh, 14, 15, 16, and maybe 17. And uh, it's, uh, we're dealing with salvation this morning. You know, my only concern, people, and, and, and you, know, I, you know, there's a lot of things that I preach on and teach on, okay? Uh, but this, uh, during this, uh, these video, videos that I've been uh, trying to put out to, to get people to know Jesus and to encourage people, my number one concern is the souls of people, okay? Uh, you know, we're not going to get to heaven, okay, unless we know God. And the only way to know God is through Jesus Christ, and the only way to Jesus Christ is through the cross, and the only way to, through the cross, to the cross is through denial of self. So I hope that this morning, uh, you know, people are encouraged by this message, uh, not just for ourselves personally that are already saved, but uh, those that uh, that need Christ, that, that need Jesus, that they've been lost, they've been walking around in the world, and they just don't know what's up from down and down from up and left from right and this, that, and the other. And they're looking for an answer. Well, you know, the answer is the Word of God. The answer is, is God Himself, is Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. Okay, so uh, if, if you have, if you've got a relative or a friend this morning, I'll be I'll be uh, uh, leading us in in in, in, in this. Uh, I call it a sinner's prayer, but like I said, there's no such thing as a sinner's prayer. So uh, don't 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 go there. Okay, don't go there. It's just uh, I I don't have a name for it. So anyway, so uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be I'll be sharing that with it, with people this morning that don't know Jesus, and I hope they do come to Jesus because that's my number one goal to make sure people come come to Jesus and and uh, you're a part of this so hopefully you'll stand in the gap for somebody that you know needs Jesus Christ so um yeah uh we'll do that at the end of the of, of this uh of this program if you want to call it that okay so if you'd like to turn your bibles over to John 3 uh verses 14, 14 through 17 they say as follows and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so must the son of man be lifted up that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, okay, in the well-known verse, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not, in his, not, sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So that's what it's about. I mean, from beginning to end, uh, the Bible's about salvation, about uh, reconciling man to God. You know, Adam messed it up for us. Adam and Eve messed it up for us. But, you know, Jesus came to redo the thing, okay? So now we can have this great, great connection between us and God through His Son, Jesus Christ. And because of that, someday we'll reign in glory with Him. Uh, and we'll get to meet all those loved ones that have gone on before us. And we'll have a good old time with the Lord forever and forever and forever. So this morning... I'd just like to read this little story that I, I picked up on this week. I, I'd already heard it once, and I'd heard somebody else relate it. It's been a while back, but as I was doing some studying this week, I, I ran across it again. I said, hey, this is something I want to share with the, with the viewers, okay? And uh, I, I, I hope it inspires you. I hope it encourages you, and I hope it gets people to know Jesus Christ this morning, okay? So, uh, you know, back in 1904, there was this Welshman, okay? There was a missionary, and he went, uh, he went into Africa, okay? Uh, and uh, there in Africa, you know, uh, he, he, he had made up his mind exactly which country, which area he wanted to go into. And when he got there, the people told him, the, the, the other missionaries, the other directors, whatever they were, told him, you can't go in there because these people are violent. They're vicious. They're ferocious. They, they uh, you know, they, 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 are, they just don't want to mess with outsiders. But he said, nope, that's exactly where I want to go. And you know what? God made a way for him. God opened up the, if you want to say it, God opened up the sea for the man and he walked in there and he was able to minister to people, okay? And praise God for that, he was able to minister to people. And uh, as time went by, you know, the more that people heard about this, you know, and uh, he was able to communicate the story of Jesus with them, of course, uh, a lot of the tribesmen uh, were, were serious about hearing the word of God. Eventually, there was a family that gave their life to the Lord, okay? 
a man and his kids and, and, and his wife, they surrendered their life to Jesus Christ the way I'm hoping people this morning surrender their lives to Jesus. Those that don't know Jesus, okay, and those that know also, they need to be restored uh, to come back to Jesus. And, and, and I, I, you know, Jesus, it's, it's wonderful to serve Jesus. So I encourage you guys. I encourage you, if you don't know Jesus, this is your, this is your victory morning. This is a day that, that, that uh, you know, that you can shout glory, hallelujah, because there's been a change in your life, okay? But anyway, as the story goes, he ministered and eventually his family came, uh, came, to, know, came to know Jesus, excuse me. And so uh, time went by, but... As time went by, the leader, the leader of the of the tribe, you know, the tribal leader, he didn't like what was happening because it was messing with his world, it was messing with his belief, it was messing with his demonic whatever, you know. And and uh, so he, one day, as 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 time went by, one day he he called this man and and and, and called his whole family. He said, "I want you to come with me, you you uh, to me, and you, I'm going to put you be, uh, in front of everybody, and we're gonna we're we're, we're I, I'm I'm bringing you so that you can." Uh, deny this Jesus that you said that that that, that you've accepted in your heart, whoever this Jesus is. Okay, you know some people. Uh, sometimes people. That's the way people talk about Jesus. Like you know, he's nobody. Oh, he's a good teacher. You know, but that's all they believe in. Okay, that's all they believe in, and we know that's not true. So it's not so. But anyway, they brought him there one day, and the, the tribal leader told the man, "If you don't deny Jesus right now, if you don't deny Jesus right now, you know there's a consequence to pay." Okay, and I want you in front of everybody. I want you to deny Jesus. Okay, so so the the tribesman told told the man. He said he told the man, I, I won't do that. I'm not going to deny Jesus. I won't deny, I won't deny Jesus. So you, you see, because I have decided to follow Jesus, and there's no way that I'm turning back. Man, this made the this made the tribal leader extremely mad. So he said, Well, bring his kids in front of in, in front of us right now, and in front of him also. And he did so, and when he said that, he said, I want you to kill him. So you know what happened? They were killed in front of the man. And I, I, I know it had to, you know it tore his heart, heart apart. And uh, so the tribal leader said, see, now you can deny Jesus, right? Because if you don't do this, uh, there's more to pay. There's more to pay. And the, and, and the tribesman told, told him again, and again the tribesman said, no, I'm not going to do that. I will not deny Jesus. I mean, I've been leave, living, uh, quote unquote, this I'm just out living. I've been, been living, living the life of a loser. But now I know Jesus and I'm a winner in Christ Jesus. There is no way I'm going to deny Jesus. Okay. And, and his response was to, to, to him was, was that he said that even though none go with me, still I'm going to follow. There's no turning back. I'm not going to turn back. So he said, you know what? The, the tribal leader said, get his wife over here. And in front of the, the, the people and in front of him. He said, kill her. So they killed the lady. And you know, we can only imagine the pain and the sorrow this man was feeling. Was feeling, But his focus was still on Jesus. And that, that's powerful stuff, guys. That's powerful stuff. And so the tribal leader said, now are you going to deny Jesus? Because the next one in line is you. And so the man, the man uh, got a little closer to the tribal leader, looked him straight in the eye, and he said, no, I will not deny Jesus. I will not deny Jesus. He told him, the cross before me, the world behind me. You know, I have a new life in Christ Jesus. This mess that I've been living in, this mess that you you you, you say uh, uh, is good for our, our, our tribe here, said so none of that works. You know, the witchcraft, the demon uh, worship, all, all, none of that works. But this Jesus that I serve, I'm going to stick to him. So what happens? He kills the tribesmen. But you know, what happened here was that uh, the Word of God says these words, and, and, and let me it's, it says as, as follows, and you've read these, some of you have read it, it says that Jesus said, if a grain of seed, okay, dies, it will bear much fruit. Oh, that's powerful stuff. Okay, look it up. Look it up in the, in the Word of God. Do a little study on it, and you're, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I, I don't have all that much time, but uh, this morning, you know, because of his death, the rest of the tribesmen, the, tribe, the tribal people, came to accept Christ as Lord and Savior, as, as Savior and Lord, okay? And 
Man, it was it was wonderful what had happened, okay? A whole tribe was changed because of one family, because of one man, because of what Christ has done in their lives. You say, well, but he died. Yeah, but you know he's in heaven. Him and his whole family are in heaven. Okay, so, and I'm not saying it's easy to go through death, this and the other. I'm just saying, you know, the end result, if you're in Christ Jesus, you're in heaven, okay? I don't care what happens at the end of, t at, at the end of your time. We get to go to heaven, and that's the great stuff, guys. And and, and being in heaven is going to be awesome, guys. Let me tell you, it's not going to be just us flying around like little angels playing little harps. No, 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 no. There's a lot that's going to be going on. Heaven's real. Heaven's alive. Heaven's wonderful. And I tell you what, it's a wonderful place to be in. So, surprise of all surprises, at the end, okay, even the tribal leader, the guy that had executed this whole family, accepted Christ as Lord and Savior. Wow, isn't that something else? That, that is great. That is awesome. That is beautiful. And uh, so, guys, serve Jesus. I'm not saying that you're going to die because you serve Jesus, you know. I mean, this was a particular situation that God used to uh, bring a whole tribe, a, a, a whole tribe to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, okay? And uh, living for Christ is wonderful, you know. Living for Christ is wonderful. And I encourage you, if you're tired of, of bumming around, spiritually speaking, or physically speaking, if you're tired of the same old rut that, I mean, the, the more you try, the deeper you get into messes, okay? Uh, the more that you try to advance yourself, the lower you get, you know. So you, you, you turn to drugs and you turn to, 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 to liquor and you turn to whatever it is that you turn to, guys. And none of that helps. None of that relieves the pain, the agony, the sorrow, the emptiness inside. But there's one that can do that. And his name is Jesus. Jesus Christ. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of, Lord of Lords. He's your Savior. He can be your Savior, your Redeemer, your Healer, your friend, one that sticks closer than a brother. Jesus is all this. And it's great to follow him. Okay? So I hope that this morning, those of you that don't know Jesus will... As, as I say this, this this prayer with you, that I, as, that uh, as I say this prayer, leads in this, in this prayer, that you 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 surrender your life to Jesus. You give your life to Jesus. And uh, those of you that are listening, that are already saved, if, we, if you want to stand in the gap for somebody this morning, do so. Okay, I'm not saying they're going to be saved, but uh, right now, but perhaps the Holy Spirit will bring conviction conviction into their hearts, and they will be saved. Okay, perhaps this is their morning. I hope this is their morning. Okay. So stand up for somebody this morning. Uh, say, God, I hope they're, they're, they're watching this video and that they come to know you as Lord and Savior. Now, this morning, let, let me lead us in this word of, of, of salvation. And I, I, close your eyes with me or even open up your eyes and lift up somebody before the Lord. And if somebody's there listening and you need Jesus, you need a change in your life. Oh, what a change. Oh, what a change. That's the change that we need. Jesus Christ in our lives. Follow them. Uh, repeat these words after me. Okay. It says, Dear Lord. I am a sinner, and please forgive me for my sins. Come into my life and cleanse me of my unbelief. I believe in you and in salvation through the blood of Jesus. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I turn from sin and trust in Jesus alone as my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. If you prayed that simple prayer, let me tell you. There's joy in the presence of God's angels. There is, there is because there's a new child, okay? There's a new name written down in glory, and that's your name this morning. So, uh, hallelujah, glory to God, amen, and uh, find you a good church to, to attend to. If you don't have one, hey, we got one in Crosby. It's a small church, but it's a good people, and, uh, and uh, we love the Lord, and we just have a good time in the Lord there at, at Crosby. Uh, the address, of course, of our church location is... Uh, it's in Crosbyton, Texas, and it's uh, 229 South Berkshire, okay? So come by and visit us if you can. I believe you'd like it. I believe you, if you're looking for a home, that's where we're at. Anybody, If you're saved and you don't have a home, hey, I invite you to come join us. I don't think you'll be. I, you know what? I know you won't be disappointed. Also, uh, for those of you that that that, uh, that want to support the ministry, okay, our, our brand new mailing address is... P.O. Box 2483, Hereford, Texas 79045. My name's Peter Flores. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for being with us this morning. I hope you have a great day. If you have a testimony, send me a testimony, guys. I'll be glad to read it over over, over this uh, this uh, quote-unquote program. And uh, maybe somebody will, will come to Jesus because of your testimony. I'd love to share it. And like I said, I'll leave your name out of it if, if you don't want your name mentioned. But, uh, you know, send it in. 
I think I think it'll be a blessing. Okay, so thank you uh, for listening to me this 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 morning, and y'all have a great day. And all I can say is bye bye.